Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have Proverbs 15, 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. So I am very humbled and thankful for all that I have, and you guys will find out why this week. So, um, okay, I have not been doing very much crochet. Um, I'm not even going to bother bringing it in. That one poncho has half a row maybe on it, but I have been sewing and, um, so the lady never called me back about the bags. Not sure where that's going to go. Not even going to worry about it. I am going to go ahead and finish up those bags. Haven't really worked on them because I, uh, started Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Um, for my crafty, Part. Oh. So I'm going to make RJ a rope back. Okay. So, um, yeah, his rope bag is right here, not cut. I mean, it's, this is a square. This is a, it's, it's not rounded up. Let me put it that way. Then, um, RJ's longtime girlfriend is a cosmetologist and she does hair. And I made her this big bag. Um, now, this big bag is for all of her stuff. Right now, she's using a backpack. And I wanted one with lots of pockets. So, there are tons of pockets in here. Different sizes. I've got some 3-inch, some 2-inch, um, some 1-inch, some 5-inches. Um, just, you know, lots of pockets all the way around it. And then a big open bottom. And I just bought a piece of that tack board that's used for um, painting on. I got it for like two bucks. And then cut it to fit in the bottom so that it you can put her blow dryers and curling irons and all of that stuff on the bottom. And we shall see. I mean, I hope she likes it. If she doesn't, then she's got a big beach bag. She can take a piece of cardboard out and... And just do a beach bag. One of the things that I was insistent on with this was I hate those bags that only open part way up because of the zipper. So I used a jacket zipper. And this one extends all the way out. And then all she's got to do is zip it like that. And it zips up. Now, there was supposed to be a flap over this to mock the style of purse that RJ had bought her not going to happen because making that part makes it too thick for my machine. I don't have an industrial strength machine. So working with duck, duck cloth is um, a little bit of a strain on it sometimes. So, um, yeah, there it is. That is her Christmas and I am super happy with the way it turned out. Um, like I said, I've, haven't I've started to work on RJ since what's next. But the other thing that I have been spending my time on is sorry, I have a sinus headache and the steam helps me. Um is my Halloween costume. Okay. So at work they've decided that we're going to there are different sections of the bank and I am included in what's called the bankers. Okay, or account services. And um, pretty much that's the people that open accounts, close accounts, help you when you lock yourself out of your account, um, anything like that. Uh, if there's fraudulent charges on your account or, uh, oh, I don't know. There's just so many things. Um, so all of those things, um, there's one lady that does nothing but IRAs. Oh, she does. Um, our bank manager is in that um, account services group. And so is our um, security person that she does all the stuff, you know, like fraud that people try to come in and open a fraudulent account with a fake check or whatever. She does all of that for us too. And so there's just one, two, three, four, five, but eight of us. So, um, we are going to be Ghostbusters. 
and I decided that I would just be the secretary because I'm up front anyway. And I have the headset. She always had the phone and big glasses. So I will be wearing my glasses to work. I do have one thing left to get. And I'm going to finish this. But um, I'm still working on it. But I have a very high-waisted. Now, her, um, her outfit was a very short skirt. And there's no way. Okay. I'm... 50 plus years old. Don't feel that's appropriate. Uh, anybody could get away with it, but me. So I am not. So this is inside out, but I made just a pants suit with a zipper up the back and it's a high waisted, you know, okay. so, and then I'll have a cream shirt underneath. She has some gold, chains that she wears and some big hoop earrings and I'm going to buy a fake little wig. It's really red and it's like bobbed. So I think I'm going to try and find something of that nature and see if I can't uh, pull that off. Um, my goal is to have this so that if high-waisted things ever come back into style, I can have an outfit in my it. So, um, yeah, I'm still working on it. Uh, I have the I have pretty much pieced together. I just have to pin everything and then actually seam it up. I'm going to put the zipper I have up here and then the waistband I am going to do with a hook and eye. So it will be like so. And yeah, I just stabbed myself with a pen. But anyway, I am working on it and it's coming right along. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out, to be honest with you. Um, so those are the things I have been working on. I have had some other things going on and I'll get into those. The garden is doing poorly. Um, the plants just aren't growing. We are last year, we are 11 inches of rain behind last year. So, um, yeah, I'm having to water. Things aren't growing tall. The okra is staying really short and putting on okra. Um, roommate even said, this is like, it's nothing's growing. And I said, I know. And it's because I go out there every night and I water, but it's just not enough because the water is soaked up by everything else around it. Everything is so dry. The ground is huge and cracked. So I have gotten some cucumbers. I got a couple of small tomatoes. Um, one okra. I've got another okra that should be ready today. The bugs, of course, are starving because the grass is burning up. Like the whole backyard is burned up. Um, and we're, we're not watering. It, it is what it is. If I have to buy grass seed next year, I will buy grass seed next year. I, I'm not, you know, one of those people that has to have the perfect pretty yard. Um, it is what it is, and when it rains, I think everything will green up. We're just waiting on some rain. The sad part is, is that we're going into August, you know, we're July, what, 13th right now. And so we're mid-July, and whereas 4th of July, we're scheduling around rain to get the hay in. That's not happening. So there is no rain. And we're getting ready to go into August and September when it's typically the dry season. So... <clears throat> Um, they were equating our dry spell and heat wave to the dust bowl. So, I mean, it, it's gotten a little bad. But um, anyway, so the garden isn't doing too good. The other big thing that happened is the truck. Um, so I got a call from RJ and he was involved in a head-on collision. Uh It looks really bad, but RJ was only sore the next day or so. Um, no broken bones, no concussion, no anything, you know, he doing okay. Um, he managed to get over enough. Uh, the guy, apparently the other driver fell asleep at the wheel. RJ could see him 
coming on and he actually had stopped to turn. So he was trying to get out of the way. Um, it tore off the other car's front bumper, bent the wheel out or popped it off. I don't know. Tore off the door um, all the way down the car. And the same thing with the truck. Um, the front light, fender, everything. The hook that we have for the winch, the eye, was bent over. And that's solid metal. I mean, that's... And it was bent over. And it was all the way down the dually side. Um, it was scary. Not just for mom. You know, it's always scary for me. But for him... Um, the gentleman was unconscious when he got to him and he said he actually had to assess whether the gentleman was dead or not. He said, mom, that's horrible. He said, I was scared to death that, you know, I had killed him. That is not a thought you want your 20 some year old to have to decide, oh my God, did I just kill somebody in the car? It was not his fault. Okay. The other gentleman received all the tickets. It, it's Definitely not on RJ. Okay. And if the gentleman had passed, that wouldn't have been on RJ either. But in our minds and the way that his and my mind works, um, it would have been kind of, you know, we would have, because it takes two to have an accident. You know, um, sometimes they're unavoidable. We get that. But he really... It, it kind of was nerve-wracking. Ambulance came, took the other gentleman to the hospital. We, we don't know. I mean, he was conscious and speaking when he left the uh, road, um, when he left in the ambulance, when he left the accident. Um, how he is after that, we don't know, and nobody's going to tell us. So, um, yeah, they took him to the hospital. RJ... Uh, one of the volunteer, being from the small town, one of the volunteer fire department guys uh, grew up with him, has known him since he was a little bitty. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. They gave him a ride home because I couldn't get there fast enough. So, yeah. So, the truck, we're waiting to see um, what they're going to do. They came, they came, they came and got it from the uh, impound yard. Uh, the gentleman has the same insurance as us, so RJ's in a little rental thing. Um, it's like a little pilot thing. He said it's a soccer mom car, <laughs> but he can get around, so I'm okay with that. Uh, and he's safe. I'm okay with that. Really okay with that. So um, he was not driving a trailer. He literally was coming back from paying the feed bill and stuff. So it's okay. It, it's okay. Um, anyway, other than that, I have had a sinus headache because of the pressure outside and stuff, and I've been fighting it. I have come in the last two days and just gone straight to bed and not caught up until time to go to work. Today is the first day that I've been up a little early. Um, I'm half dressed, as you can tell, uh, and decided I was going to try and squeeze the podcast in before I go. I just got to put my black pants on, which are right here. I have my little pants on. I just don't wear these pants to work. And then I need to pull up my hair because I always pull it back from my face to look more professional. So, um, yeah, I think that is about all. I know it's not much. But it's just a little update. Things are going fine other than, you know, my head, um, RJ's wreck. And dealing with that is, is all that there is left, just dealing with the insurance. So we'll get it straightened out. RJ and I have a plan. You know, once our two heads get together, it's, you know, we figure out which direction we're going to go. And then we take it from there. Um, we have a plan and it will put us right back where we need to be financially and everything and hopefully it'll work out by God's grace so yeah it's it is what it is and uh, 
there's not a whole lot more going on. Um, it, it, like I said, the, the garden isn't doing a whole lot because of the weather. I'm not doing a whole lot because of the sinus pressure. Um, I am sewing and that's about it, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish those bags. And then, um, I think I'm going to do a little giveaway, um, of one of those bags just because, and I'll probably post that stuff. I don't know, maybe next week. I'll probably have it together next week and decided and finished and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll figure it out this weekend, but I am going to do a giveaway. We haven't done a giveaway in a long time. I don't even know that I have done a giveaway, um, since leaving the farm and I think it's just, it's just time. There you go. It's just time. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching.